The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Foglin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the holy kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? You must at least show the basic courtesy of telling us your name. Do you not think you are being a bit rude to the Archbishop? It is all right, said it. My dear, I am called Rhea. I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. In truth, I was only being polite. I already know your name. 
and a fine name it is. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers' Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. As you well know, I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each. Ha Do you really not know? Ah, the Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bus. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? 
I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the Church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Of course. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy. Correct to start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and... May I ask a favor of you? Imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. 
That, at least, was admirable. Now you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is, perhaps, too pleased with its own status. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of... He's the second son of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance. He's overly... She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe... Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not... To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a... must be the new professor. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah, and by that, I mean to vigilant. a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that, Matt. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? 
I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passion. He's the second son of a merchant family, if you ask me. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture... Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think. Yeah. The Golden Deer House is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance. Ah, you must be that renowned mercenary. Perhaps you'd like to join me for... My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. Um, hi. It's like this. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you, Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance Merchants. And I am Lysithia Von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to... Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the home. Hey, hey. Hey. Ah. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of- Oh, and, uh, you may call me Ingrid. Huh? And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work- Oh, mercy! Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking- Now that I think about it, that does sound- I suppose you'll be enrolling at the officer's- Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Hey, hey. Well, well. It must be my lucky day today, being approached by such a beauty. I'm Sylvain Jose Gautier. Feel free to say hi whenever you want. My thanks. 
Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet this here is to do. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Word should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten. Okay. Right, right. Please accept my apologies for the other. I am Dimitri Alec. Of course, at the academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard delightful news. In any case, well, I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any. I appreciate your effort. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses. I must note that I am personally against and The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I... So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead- Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More... This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedit's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Kaspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another... That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of... Um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want 
a train. Let's stay in the classroom and uh, learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tell her. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, they're not normally this... rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this... What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, you... Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Thank you. 
With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. These are the students' quarters. Commoner students also reside. As a rule, we speaking of... Professor. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. 
Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so... The monastery has some exceptional facilities that everyone who lives at the Officers' Academy is welcome to make use of. For example, you can enjoy a meal with your students at the dining hall, or take part in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. I suggest visiting the various facilities whenever you have the time to spare. It's a great way to get to know the students. Have you noticed the bulletin boards placed around the monastery? Those contain requests people have posted, as well as helpful information from the market. If you prove yourself by helping people with their requests, certain facilities here will become available for your use. The bulletin board is updated frequently, so I suggest checking it at least once a month. You should take your time when speaking with everyone, but when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. If you use them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it. A great deal is expected from professors of the Officers' Academy, so it's important to hone your To put it plainly, you'll need to keep expanding your knowledge of all disciplines, not just battle. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. Hi. What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. In a manner, yes, but it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a... Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifest the exact nature of how and why crests are... Yes. I hear a member of House Resfeld, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officer's Academy for the first time in- It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the Crest of Seros is on the Imperial- f In recent years, a rift has developed between the- Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relations.
Hello. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see... Indeed. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knife assisting with the education. A moment, please. All right. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to rep- By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. If my ways of speak, uh, uh, of speech are causing a burden, Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only... Might you help me with a favor? I pray to thee, please protect us. <sighs> Unbelievable. The MP 
Imperial Princess, the Crown... If you're a teacher here, you better... Well... The great tree move. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart, and you should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe... can't right now. I got a lot of things to do. Work and stuff like that. Why don't you look at the flowers in the greenhouse instead? This is the Golden Deer House. You're in charge. Too bad we won't see more of each other. Our house is that of the Gold Golden Deer. All three of the house. Hi, Professor. How if you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little? If I'm cooped up in this dusty old. I met Annie. Oh, I could, but Annie was always. Here's the story. The Blue Lion House derived its name from Lug, the King of Lions, the library, if you find time. Listen. Let me tell you the provenance of the Eagle and Black. I will make you a quality meal. As I have a request. I heard about the upcoming goodness. <laughs> Listen. 
Hey, Teach, I hear there's gonna be a mock... I'm not gonna lie, I'm... Oh, Professor! Have you adjusted to life at the academy? I'm still not used to it. Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if it may have been only for a short time, but I learned from you. Well, there's Dorothea. You know, Professor, I think... Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. My thanks. I love this meal. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. I knew I could count on you. Yes. I'm busy. Do you want something? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. Greetings, Professor. 
If my ways... Listen. All right. Yes. Here's an idea. Hello. Do bear in mind that even as you are, I hope that you will do your own. And I look forward to wit. Church has changed a lot. Zedith, Hanuman, Mon none of them were around 20. I think. Captain Gerald has hardly changed. I've aged at least three times as much as he. Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard the leader of a legendary group of knights. Apparently, there is to be a... My research is proceeding slower than I would like. I was wondering... Yeah. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. Then, well, no need to worry. If you get hurt, I am more than... I think... Really? So, Professor, I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Se The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history. Tomas has served as the monastery's library. Actually, he was away from Garrett Mark for a spell, but he returned to his post. Like, there is no one as familiar with the monastery.
Much appreciated. It's finally time for the mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise? So confident. This will be interesting. Each of us has undergone strict training. We're prepared for anything that... That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. But is there enough time to cover them all? Ah, so you can't win unless you know my weakness. Poor princess. You really should believe in yourself more. I spare no effort when pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. Schemes? Me? I have no idea what you're talking about. I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Hearing the words fair and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. Your Highnesses haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? No need to poke fun. I will fight with honor. That said, I will fight to win. Yes, and the same is true of us. Right, Professor? If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Edelgard? Professor? Be careful out there.
The mock battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. That's my cue. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you? Mercedes, keep our enemy occupied. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. Lost? Oh, unthinkable. Should I have held back? Ah! Ah! Ugh, 
so strong. Have to do better next time. Now you know your limits. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously. Professor is quite a command. Your defeat was inevitable. It's a long road yet. Use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Really gonna fight two houses at once? <laughs> this is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead.
Very well. I accept your challenge. With you as my opponent. I would expect no less.
You'll be repaid. You're a tough opponent, but I refuse to yield. Another step forward. My training was insufficient. <laughs> to be left behind. It's fine. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. So, each of that means... Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply... Ah. I spare... I spare no... Scheme. Here... You're... No... Yes. No use trying to... Oh. While... Ah. It'll go... The mock battle is... I'm sure you're... Incidentally. Stay focused. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Ugh. Battle? As you wish. will prevail. None of yours shall... Me? <sighs> Ash. Got it, your high. Once you finish preparing, make your move. I'm on it. Oh my.
Well done. The mock battle. I'm sure you're incident. Stay focused. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I will prevail. None of yours shot. <sighs> Ash. Got it. Once you finish, I'm on. Oh no. Each battle, a chance to grow. Yeah! 
Well done. Lost. You are nothing. Waiting in the fall.
Dimitri, it's time. Very well. I would expect. Behind. The mock back. I'm sure you're incident. Stay focused. I will prevail. As you wish. 
That's my cue. Battle. None of yours shall. Ash. Got it, yeah. Once you finish preparing, I'm on it. Oh my. You fought well. Well done. Well. Overboard. I've lost for Lady Edelgard.
Are you really gonna? This is a.
As expected. Another step forward. Tough opponent.
Give me everything.